Welcome back. We continue to equip you with skills of how to write CVs, uh, resumes, and now the cover letter. In this episode, we explore what a cover letter is, uh, where it is found, and how to do it. Welcome. So usually one wonders, where is a cover letter supposed to be? All right. So a cover letter is supposed to be at the point where you start, when you say, you, you're composing a, a, an email where you say new message. This is where a cover letter should be. You put in the recipients, the subject, application for this and this, and this is at this space is where the cover letter should be. Many people wonder, should I put the cover letter here? Should I attach it? No, your cover letter is the body of the email where you will attach the resume. Where so what? What are the contents of a cover letter? Introduction, cover letter. body and conclusion. What will you say in the introduction? Introduce yourself, how you saw the, how you saw the, 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 the job description, where you saw it from, and a little bit about your background. That would make the body, the introduction. On the body, one or two lines or three, just a paragraph that talks about your skill, your experience, and how this will contribute to um, the success of the organization where you are applying for work. And then finally, have a conclusion. On the conclusion of a cover letter, show your enthusiasm, your readiness. How can you be available for an interview? That comes on the conclusion of the cover letter. A good cover letter that would make me open up her CV is this one for this lady, she says, I am writing to apply for a job opportunity as a fabricator in your esteemed organization. I am a passionate lady with necessary qualifications. Yes, she says about that. So that is part of her, uh, her introduction. If given the opportunity to provide my services and be part of your team, I will employ great communication skills and customer relations learned in my diploma in journalism and mass communication to ensure growth of your organization. Always state in the body how your skills will come and, and help that organization. He, she talks about her previous experiences and please find attached, concludes by saying, please find attached my CV um, for this uh, position. So that is simply how you come up with um, a cover letter. The don'ts of writing a cover letter. Number one, is not having a cover letter at all. I received so many um, CVs that are just attachments. Look at look at this. Brian, Steven, just an attachment. This one, just an attachment. Just an attachment. Always have a cover letter. That is the first mistake for you to be locked out of an opportunity. Have the cover letter. Number two, do not make it wordy. Do not make it wordy. Yes, just brief introduction, body and conclusion, straight to the point, and then attach whatever it is that you are, uh, your, your credentials. Number three, do not paste the, your entire document on the body of the email. What do I mean? This is someone who writes uh, immediately from his, um, from his, sent, he, he, he pastes everything. Actually, he pastes his profile name, cell phone, everything on the same place in one page. This is not okay because this one is not possible to read. This is a CV. Uh, I think it's a, it's a full CV and uh, the cover letter. Perhaps there's no even cover letter. All of them on the body of the email. It makes it too much for the person to look, no attachment, and this just throws him off from uh, being um, shortlisted. So that is it. Cover letters are read. Resumes are skimmed through. CVs, employers really, really just gloss through. Have a powerful cover letter. One, body, introduction, body, and conclusion. Put it in the right place. Follow through correct wording. And I'm sure you will be able to get an opportunity for your document to be, even for your attachments, to be opened. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more about job hunting skills in our next video. Thank you.